see what Spirit Source has to say for our Geminis in you. I don't think I've done a Gemini bonus. I only have a few more bonuses I'm probably going to give out because I got to get ready for the 16th through the end of the month readings on each sign. So these are the in-between kind of give y'all updates, you know, on what's how y'all progressing, what's changing. That's all my bonuses are. Okay, my bonuses are simply just kind of touching up, you know, seeing where y'all are. Okay, so we got the 16th getting ready to come in here. So probably next week. <laughs> y'all got a few more bonuses either way it go. Either way it go. Either way it go. Because your girl finna sit down for a minute. Take a break. Why I got a break. Okay. At least for now anyway. Tomorrow they might change. <laughs> All right. Spirit Source Energy. This is for our Geminis. What message do you have for the Geminis? Spirit Source Energy. How is their money looking? Gemini, how's your money looking for July? I know I thought I did y'all a, a, a money report. I don't even remember. I'm going to have to look and see who I did money reports on. I know I only picked a handful, like seven signs that I did money reports on. I don't know. I think Gemini was one. Let's see what it's looking like for love and money. Spirit source energy for our Geminis out there. This is for the Gemini in you. Oh, Shalem, Shalem. Wait a minute. Shalin master be graceful in movement and action Ooh, look at y'all gemini's look at y'all look at y'all look at y'all coming up in there Shalin, Shalin, shallow shallow lin i don't know s-h-a-o-l-i-n oh there's the sun there's the sun anyway you see that card that's the most powerful card to me Oh, let's see, Gemini. What's over yonder? Let's do a Mandela Oracle for you guys. I know y'all have been seeing those repeat numbers out there because the energies are doing something fantastic out there for us. So it's only fair that we get a Mandela card. That's kind of what we feel like, a crystal. We feel like our bodies are changing. You know, the vibrations are, are just, whew. We're getting put to the test, baby. We are getting put to the test by the cosmic mothers and fathers, baby. We are getting, <laughs> we are all getting put to the test. Ascended Master, Mother Mary, and Celestite. Celestite. Unconditional trust. Crystal Master 333. Three, three. Look at that beautiful card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you have for the Gemini Spirit Source Energy? Ooh, what do you have for the Gemini's? Look at that, and it ends up right back under the bottom after shuffling it. Oh my gosh. Goddess Gaia and Ocean Jasper. Good will crystal goddess oh my 888 that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about that abundance baby that money flow baby it's coming it's coming it's coming it's it's raining oh i'll been say men i better not say that <laughs> how about it's raining money how about that it's raining money hallelujah it's a rain <laughs> Y'all probably said, what the hell? <laughs> Woo. Well, would you want the money or the men? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Uh-uh. We don't want the men. We want the money. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I can't believe that came back under the bottom. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm on. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Lordy, what's going on here? Lord, okay. Let's see. 
for our Gemini's. What's going on here? We're gonna make this short and sweet. I better set my timer. Here we go. For our Gemini spirit, what do you want your Gemini's to know out there? This is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cuspers like myself and cross watchers. If y'all watch it, y'all know what to do. It's y'all thing, but don't get on my feed tripping, okay? It's timeless, so whenever you get it, you're meant to have it. It's gonna be five minutes later. It can be two minutes earlier. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> say, wait a minute, two minutes earlier? What's that mean? <laughs> it can be five years from now. It don't matter. Take what resonates, whatever don't. Psh, leave it on the eye of raw, baby. Leave it on the eye of raw right there. Yeah, I got my little temporary mat out here. It's over there. Actually, it's behind me. I just ain't, I done washed it. I just ain't put it on there yet. I just ain't put it on there yet. The eye of Ra, that's right, the eye of Ra, okay? When I say leave it on the eye of Ra, that's what I'm talking about. I had to wash it the other day. It was so dusty from all my incense and I just hadn't put it up there yet. <laughs> so when I say leave it on the eye, I means that. If it don't belong to you, just leave it on the eye. You ain't got to be greedy. The greedy don't get everything. You find out when you're being greedy, what you get is ain't no better than what you thought it was going to be. Spirit starts saying, woo, two of coin, woo, two, woo. Y'all slapping cards all at me. Let me see what's going on with y'all, Gemini. Okay. Transformation, Scorpion energy, and Seven of Wands, fighting back, standing your ground. Some of y'all not wanting to transform or something? Some of y'all not wanting to go through your transformation? Huh? Is that what it is? Y'all scared? Is y'all scared? Is y'all out there scared? Make sure these, are, yep, let me turn them around. Make sure they're in the right position. Let me put these back here. Okay, y'all know what I'm about to do, right? I'm about to move this, uh, <laughs> I'm about to move it so y'all can see it, okay? Because I know y'all like to see, right? So y'all got Shalom Master overall energy and this Goddess Gaia. An ocean jasper goodwill. Okay. Oh, wait. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards here. Let's see what's going on with your money, though. I know y'all want to know what's going on with your money. What's going on with my money? Hmm. Why is my money acting the way my money acting? All right. All right. This is your two card, your four cards here. Y'all got the two of coins here. Somebody's balancing things out, starting to balance things out uh, with their financing, okay? Y'all been holding things up for a long time. Could be in your family, could be on your job, uh, could be like going to back to school or learning something because Pinnacles is your Taurus energy. It's about financial stability and y'all are, you, you're trying to... You're trying to get there. You're working on it. I ain't going to say trying because that means you haven't done it yet. But I'm going to say you're, you're working on it. You're working toward bettering your, your finances. You're holding it up for right now, okay? This is the Eight of Swords. You're on your own little bubble, in your own little head. Uh, Self-sabotagement, you know. If you just press your foot probably on one of the top of them swords, you probably will fall out the sky. You know, because you just all up in the clouds, all up in the head. You know, you need to get out of your head still, uh, Gemini. Still a lot of, you know, uh, entrapment. It's like you're trapping yourself with your thoughts. You speak one thing or feel one thing, but you're, you're I mean, you're thinking one thing, but you're saying and you're doing something else. So it's creating this self-sabotage, or you may be talking yourself out of something okay like you want this financial stability but for some reason you keep talking yourself probably out of it it could be a little fear of financial stability going on here okay 
this is the Knight of Wands. This is someone coming in, you know, uh, coming toward you as if to, you know, they're very passionate about you. They want to help you, uh, Gemini. So someone's coming toward you here that's very passionate, very loving, uh, a Knight of Wands uh, to offer, to offer some, some type of uh, way out for you if you can't get out by yourself. You're you're pretty much stuck in your head though. Uh, you may not you may even miss this opportunity. I don't know because you're so trapped up in your head right now. The Palace of Wands, like this person, is about love, about compassion, about fire, about romance. But this person also, depending on the situation, what falls around this card, could be like a player. Could be like a woman that's out there dating multiple people or a man dating multiple women. Okay, so it just depends. I don't see a couple here yet. So we'll have to see where this goes. Gemini. Spiritual. Ooh, look at that. The Hierophant and the Fool card. Okay, new beginning marriage. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see where this goes. Gemini, love and money. I mean, I see a lot of passion, not much money with the two of pentacles because that's about holding something together. That's about juggling. Maybe somebody was juggling you. I don't know. Maybe it was more than one person. We're going to find out. Spirit source energy. What does Gemini need to know? Spirit source energy. What does Gemini need to know about this reading? What would you like Gemini to see? What would you like Gemini to see about their reading, spirit source energy that will better and higher themselves spiritually and physically. The Gemini spirit source energy. Mm, mm, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep, yep, and yep. Yep, y'all not the only one in the picture, that's why. So, oh, Mr. Lover Boy. Oh, Mr. Lover Boy. This emperor, you know, is chilled, relaxed, older fellow, resting. It's, it's time to take a break. Somebody's been juggling a lot. Third-party situation here could be distance, could be other women or other men in the picture. Okay, if you're married, someone's cheating possibly, prob you know, involved with another person somehow emotionally. Uh, sometimes it could be sexually. Sometimes it's like, you know, they talking to somebody else on the side which is still a form of cheating because they got that person emotionally. You know, th that person is not giving to you emotionally. That person is giving to someone else emotionally. Okay, so that's just still, to me, another form of of cheating, you know, because if you have somebody, you're supposed to be with that person, okay, not talking to other people, you know, especially of the opposite sex to get emotional uh, uh, fulfillment from. There's traveling involved and there is still fighting back and we had the seven of wands under the deck uh under the other deck here uh so it showed up again so you're really fighting off you know and really fighting back pushing away or, or blocking communication probably from this person because you feel you were put in a third party situation so you're not trying to hear it and so you're like no i'm not i'm going on with my business you know, I'm going to take control back over my life. I'm resting right now. You put me in this situation. I'm moving on. Uh, you can scram. <laughs> Pretty much, you can scram. You snooze, you fucking lose, right? So that's kind of how you're feeling, Gemini. Look at that. But that person sees you as lawful. That person sees you as structure and, and, and balance. And, and uh, that person holds you in high regard, even though they're the emperor they see you as the Hierophant, okay, a very powerful uh, person there, both both of you. So both of you got some real high, high, I would say, uh, leadership roles or seen as or looked up as in high regard from those around you, okay? Like people may come to y'all for, both of y'all for advice, okay, you and your person, Gemini, okay? Spirit source energy. What else does Gemini need to know? Spirit source energy. What else would you like Gemini to know? I don't know what kind of reading this is, Gemini. 
Knight of Sword and Knight of Wands. This person is coming in to talk to y'all about how they, what they feel about you. You know, how they, they love you or what kind of passion or, or, you know, what kind of spark you give them, basically. They're charging in. They're coming in fast. Um, so you may be seeing this person or hearing from this person this month. Okay, Gemini, uh, male or woman, this person is really coming in charging, you know, uh, because they feel that you're moving on, you know, that you're tired of holding up, you know, you're stuck in your head about it and you're tired of being stuck in your head about it and you're ready to move on. And they're like, oh, no, 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 don't go on yet. Don't leave yet. Right. Don't leave yet. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm right here. I have a, I have a palace. I, I have a home. Okay. Don't leave yet. I have a home. Spirit source energy. What else does Gemini want to say? Spirit source energy. Or what would you like to say to Gemini? Spirit source energy. Yeah. They think of you as the queen of pentacles. Yeah. And they see that they've lost a soulmate. You know, they're ready to give up uh, feeling sorry for themselves. They're ready to take action. Uh, you know, they put the guard down. They want to communicate how they feel you're their soulmate, okay, and how they think you are the queen of pentacles. You have it going on. You're sexy. You're attractive, you know, and they're not giving up, and that's why they're charging back in. That's why they're charging back in, Gemini, to be with you. Because they see you as attractive. They see you as handsome. They see you as successful in business. And and because the pinnacles is about finance. So they see you as managing your own security. You know, abundance. Uh, material possession. You know, um, uh, financially stable. That you got financial stability. So that's what your person is coming in. Uh, wanting to come back into your life if they've if you've been separated from this third party and ha hadn't got together yet uh, maybe you've been just talking holding things up through conversation you know but not really went anywhere and you're trying to move on and the person's trying to come back okay well what a way to go <laughs> spirit source energy what else you have for gemini spirit source energy what else do you have for gemini Gemini, y'all got yourself in quite a mix, huh? Oh, that's too many. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Y'all got yourself. Yep, tower moment. This person realized you are the queen of pentacles. Whether you're a man, Gemini, or a woman, Gemini, this person realized it, that you are a good prize. I'll put it like that. That you're worth going after. You're worth you know, coming after they had a tower moment where they realized, you know, who you, who you really are and they're, they're coming in. So you probably will be getting a visit from your person, uh, this month, spirit source energy. What's the challenge here for Gemini? Look at that. Look at that shit there. Yeah. They want to marry you. They see you as structure. They see that you would provide that structure that they need in their life. Or you feel that way about this person, Gemini. That they would give you that, that structure that you need. That balance that you need in your life. And, and positive. And that you guys could, you know, rise to a high uh, position in life. In, in, uh, in the family structure. In working together. Because it's about structure. It's about ethical beliefs it's about uh sacred knowledge okay even because the the emperor knows a lot it's a leadership a, a, a authority leadership and the hierophant also knows a lot okay so it's about the sacred mysteries the 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 um the guidance people coming you know the the emperor is the father figure the hierophant is the mentor type person so they're both in leadership roles here so you and your person are in leadership roles and if you're a single gemini this is you having that type of balance that masculine and that feminine balance okay if you're single and watching but if you're single and watching 
you're trying to get your still your financial stability and independence okay and you're not putting up with no third parties okay you'll stay single rather than you know lose any self-respect for yourself or self-worth by putting yourself in a relationship that someone cannot fully commit to okay regardless if it's a soulmate or not okay you're not lowering your standards is the queen of pentacles is someone uh, abundantly successful I mean, they have it all, all kinds of material and wealth and abundance and love and harmony, and they don't need anybody. They're complete by themselves. What's the challenge here? Ooh, 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 damn. Y'all, what y'all doing out there? Y'all, somebody cross-watching or something, because y'all trying to just take all my cards out of my hand, huh? Ooh. Wow, this person really likes y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is the outcome, spirit? There we go. Something hidden. See there? Yeah, they haven't told you. Moon. There's the moon card. So they haven't really told you how they feel and what uh, what they think about you or what they feel about you. They're keeping that pretty much a secret. So there's still like something hidden being that's not being revealed to you uh, from this person they're not going to just come out and tell you right off the bat so you you might still feel like distance like they're not open like they're not communicating okay with you like fully but it's there it's just they're they're kind of still guarded with this seven of wands there's still a little bit of defense because they don't know how you're going to take it okay why is the moon card here, Spirit Source Energy? Why is the moon card? Yeah, see, they want to offer you that new cup of love. They want to offer you a new cup of love, a new relationship, get a fresh start, a new beginning. That's what they're hiding. And that's why they're coming back, because you don't know they're, you probably don't know they're going to come back. You know, they're racing back in to offer you this new cup of love. Okay? What's the advice for Gemini, Spirit Source Energy? What's the advice? For Gemini. What's the advice for Gemini? Resource energy. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Spirit. Spirit, what's the advice for Gemini? Spirit, what's the advice for Gemini? Damn, that one popped out. Damn. They want to have a happy home. Look at there. And the lover's card. So... <laughs> I'm shuffling and the Ten of Wands pops out. So they want this happy home with you, this Ten of Cups. They see you as everything, the structure, the family, and everything that they've been wanting to have and build uh, this bridge and this stability with emotionally. They see y'all as emotionally balanced. You know, they see you as everything and they're, they don't want to lose you, even though that they may feel like that's going to happen. Uh, but they're still going to take that chance to come in and at least offer you this Ten of Cups. But they definitely do see you as everything and also as lovers. Okay. Spirit Source Energy, what is the advice for Gemini? Yep, there's a Wheel of Fortune. They see it as, oh, there's another card drop, oh, drop down here. They see it as, that dropped on them. Okay. They see... They see something is ended. They got to end something with the Queen of Wands. But they feel that you guys is destiny and fate. Okay. They want a little bit more time to end some heartache. To end something uh, with the Queen of Wands. Okay. Maybe they were in, like I said, a third party relationship with someone else. And they got to end it. And so they need a little bit more time. This is the Wheel of Fortune. But this is also about time. This is also about completing something. So they need to complete something with the with the Queen of Wands before they can move toward you. And it involves their finances. Okay? It it involves maybe splitting some things up. Okay? Because something they're trying to come out of the Ten of Swords energy. And they are because the Ten is here. So that's about completion and wrapping things up. So they can move toward you. Uh, possibly Gemini, your person. Whoever this is. So that's in this third party relationship. 
with someone that you can't have right now, possibly, or because of distance. Even if it's even if it's not another person involved, like another marriage married person, it's still about them wrapping up something, saving money, right? They need more time so they can come toward you, Gemini, if you're the Queen of Wands. If this is not the other person in a third party with a marriage, then that's the Queen of Wands, okay? Uh, and they see you sitting in your power. They also see you, another narrative is they see you as the Queen of Wands, someone powerful, someone attractive, someone single, and they're saving up. They're trying to put it into whatever has got them down and restrained and stuck. They're trying to save up enough money so they can come towards you. Another narrative for Gemini. So it's like three here. I'm hearing three from spirit. So it just depends on which Gemini you are that's listening. But there are three narratives here that I'm hearing. But you guys definitely soulmates. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have an even exchange of emotion. Uh, you love each other. You recognize, you know each other. Um, that's it. That is it, y'all. I ain't reading no more. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's it, Jim and I. Hope you like it. That's it. You want to extend it, you have to pay. You have to pay. You have to pay for the extended if you want more and more and more and more, right? Also, it may or may not resonate, so that's fine. Take what does, leave the rest. But definitely, Jim and I, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And don't forget to hit my notification bing, bell on that YouTube channel so you can get those downloads when I upload these videos, right? And you know what your girls say, peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, Gemini, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony.